What's up, YouTube? Doing some zoo testing. Hoping for turn three kill. We'll settle for a turn four kill. Can almost guarantee you a turn four kill. Uh, I mean, it's obviously about a non interactive opponent. Alrighty. Mm, pretty solid hand. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's great. That's like a turn four kill type of a hand, but still. So, twin probably, or it might be a Grixis control type of a hand. But either way, I'm loving it because that, yeah, this, this is not what they want to see you play against. Hmm. Just going to bolt it, I guess. It's okay. Prevents me from two for wanting it with the Tarka's command. It's a smart play. Still now it does put my Goyth out of bolt range, which is nice. If they're a Delver type, I'm going to be loving it. Mana leaks it. I'd much rather have the Mana Leak catch the Goblin Guide. We've got two Goifs to deal with and a host of other silliness. Uh, should be able to kill him this turn. I mean, unless he does something to stop it. But it won't, if he does something to stop it, he won't be comboing off next turn, so. Turn three kill, or turn four kill. It was interacted with anyway, but. He's killing himself. Okay. Sure. So he he took the damage anyway that that thing was going to deal. Um. Pretty much, it does count. Does reduce it by one. It only hits for four. If 
actually, that's good. So yeah, it's lethal unless he's got a counter spell. I think he would have used it if he did. Nice. Nice. That's exactly the kind of thing that you want to be able to do. So any can type of control deck that's a little bit slow, uh, yeah, you, the only type of control deck that can really beat me is the type that's like um, like a Grixis Twin or something like that, where they can slow me down just long enough, you know, buy themselves an extra turn or two and then combo out. But um, I, I'm not 100% sure that that's a twin deck uh, until i see one or the th one piece of the combo i, I guess i am gonna play it as though it's just some kind of control deck it's almost it's almost feels like cheating to use the spell skate anyway they should be able to beat them straight up for now. There it goes. Hmm. That is a risky hand. I'll keep it. It's pretty risky. I warn you right now. Might get might get caught out here. Nah, I have that buyer's remorse now. Now I really have that virus from worse. I, I kept it mainly because of the two goblin guides. They hate goblin guide. Bolt revealed. So, in this case, absolutely no downside to him at all. He's basically a 2-2 haster that, with the upside of, tells me what card he's drawing next turn, which is very nice to know. He was thinking about, should I bolt myself to kill this thing? That's good. That saves me. That that's just one less mana he has for it. Of course, I'm screwed on mana. So if I don't pull a if I don't pull a land here, I'm pretty much done. Use this. He's got white in it. I don't think it's a twin. I think it's like a shit. Well, I'm still playing creatures that are swinging. So. Until that stops, I guess I'm okay. Core Firewalker. Yikes. Wouldn't be a big deal in most cases, but with this particular hand, it's not good. Still can't 
cast it though. So it has own issues. Finally. That helped, that, um, that stomping ground helped me a lot. Tickets revealed. Lightning Helix. So it has had not gained him zero cards and has told me everything that he's drawing right now. Think twice, wow. Unreal. Oh, oh, sorry. That was just at the end of my turn, but still. He's got answers in his hand, but he's only got the one ran mana. So he can't get the answers out to deal with the creatures that are presented. I mean, he does have probably Path to Exile in there, but he's Firewalker sitting dead in his hand. He's got it, you know, his lightning helix is pretty much sitting dead in his hand. I mean, he, he, the bolts, bolt or helix could come out soon, but that taps him out. If he waits for me to untap, now I can guard it with this and this, and two for two for one with this. If he helixes my Nicotl, say, or something like that. Oh, wait, well, Nicotl's still 2-2. Two, two. But if he helixes this... Ooh, goy. Sweet. Um, hmm. I'm going to swing and see what he does. Bolt, another bolt. Just got tons of them. Let's see, perfect. Great two for one. Oh, please, Path to Exile something. Yeah, he realized this. He doesn't want to do that. Looking pretty good for me, even after that terrible start. So now they're not so vanilla anymore.
It might be scooping. Sometimes people get rage quit. I mean, I could just bolt your face right now. Well, he's doing something. Yeah, good game. No getting around it. So it's just, you see the speed. And that's what I want to, you know, talk about. I didn't get to see Kithy in that game. If you don't like Kithy, and go ahead, use uh, Lone Lines. Lone Lines works great here. Um, yeah, uh, Kithy is great. There's no reason not to like him. And you, can, you couldn't ask for a better place for him to flip. And he's not like, there's no pressure on him to do anything other than swing for two damage on turn two. If he does nothing else other than that, he's probably filling up his role here. He's, you know, he's interchangeable with the plenty of other creatures. So I think a lot of people, like when they put, put tried him before, they put him in these decks like these Bant shells where every single creature has so much pressure on it to perform uh, because their threats are so limited that they don't have room for something like this. That he can't perform in something like that. But for something like this, where it, we're all just vanilla dudes for one CC, it's perfectly fine. He he fits just fine here. Um, he's just one of the group. And when he does, you know, if he does flip, it's just a super huge added bonus. You don't expect him to, but when it happens, it's just like unbelievably great. You feel it's like a well worth investment and then he flips on turn two sometimes like you play him turn one and people are like ah, i got plenty of time i can deal with him whenever i want to well then you swing with goblin guide and legion loyalist on turn two and they're like oh shit i just took five damage on turn two i have one tap land in play and he's got a flip planeswalker and an indestructible dude i mean it's like a completely overwhelming position from that standpoint um but yeah, that, I mean, yeah, sure, that's the best case scenario, but they ha it happens. Um, and there's, like I said, there's no pressure on him to do anything other than just swing for two. And if you die, you die, whatever, don't care. Um, Legion Loyalist, can't say enough about him. Consider him, an, uh, consider him like an equipment card, uh, like on a body, on a one-one hasted body. He equips all your dudes with. Uh, all you, you know, all your swinging, attacking guys get uh, first strike and trample. So get punches through the damage. They can't chump block you with uh, those crappy lingering souls tokens. He hates on lingering souls big time. Uh, it's one of the main reasons he's in here as a solid four of, you know. So uh, Nakatl speaks for itself, of course. Goyf speaks for itself. Atarkas command. What more can I say about it? The card's pushed. This is pushed of a card as you're going to see in this format. It can deal anywhere between four, upwards of six, seven, you know, swing with five dudes. You're just hitting for eight when this goes off. I've seen it happen. I say regularly, on average, it hits for, you know, four or five. You know, you hope plan on it hitting for four or five. If it hits for six, you feel like it's giant, giant huge. Um... And you're very, very happy. And then it has other stuff it does on top of that. It's amazing. It's a totally amazing card. Get him in, get him while you can. People are going to start realizing. Um, this card is another one that punches through for extra damage. Make sure Nakatl, who is getting chump blocked by something and maybe or maybe going to die, now that Nakatl lives, you still deal some damage. It's amazing. Uh, this is uh, four damage to the face. You saw it won the game. So, works. You got turn four clock guaranteed, turn three options. That's what you're looking for out of an aggro deck. Here it is.
Uh, let me know what you guys think about the, this deck. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. Uh, post your trolls on there because people are trolling me on the forums all the time. Later.